In this video, we will integrate Cisco APIC with VMware. We will only configure the Cisco APIC. We will not configure VMware. VMware configuration is already done. This is how the VMware configuration looks like. We will be working on the B2 host and configuring port 16. This is how the physical topology looks like. Host B2 is connected to leaf 2 on Ethernet 1 slash 36. First, I will go to VMware vCenter to see we don't have any port groups configured. Uh, we have VMs already created for each EPG. If I go to networking, I can see we don't have any port 16 VMM domain created. So I'll go to the APIC fabric and first thing I need is access policies and create a VLAN pool. So right click or drop down on the VLAN, right click and create VLAN pool. I can give it any name I want. So I'll just give it a name part 16 VMM domain pool dynamic allocation and next I will add the VLAN range so I'll give it a VLAN range of 3160 to 3169 rest I can leave to default Okay, next I need to go to virtual networking, VMware, and create a VMM domain for part 16. So I can see there is no part 16 already configured. So I will right click, create a vCenter domain. I can use any name I want, so I will just give it a name, part 16 VMM domain. Select VMware vSphere distributed switch. And then select the VLAN pool, which we already created for part 16. Okay, next we need to add the vCenter credentials. So I can give it any name I want. So I'll just call it vCenter credential. These are the credentials which we use to log on to the vCenter. So these must match. Next, I need to add the vCenter. Give it a name, vCenter V. Rest of the configuration, we must match from vCenter. So the host name will be vCenter V, dc.local. And data center is data center B and credentials which we already created. Okay, that looks good. Submit. Okay, we can see part 16 VMM domain is created. I go back to the vCenter. And here we can see part 16 VMM domain is created.
Here at the bottom we can see that these tasks were recently completed and the configuration was pushed to the vCenter.